Ah, let me show you real life right here and how this gospel plays into it. We were at a 4th of July celebration last night, and they were popping off mortar rounds, and when they exploded, a paratrooper would float down. Kids loved it. They were running around chasing to see if they can catch them while they're in the air. Until my youngest ran into a porch, blamed it on my oldest, hauled off and slugged him like a Louisville slugger, hitting him in the stomach. Drop big guy right there. I said, you got one coming, young man. Your brother's going to take a free hit when we get home. We get home, daddy lives up to his words, line him up in the driveway, say hit him as hard as you want to, anything below the neck, fair game. Mama's worried as can be. Just as big guy was wearing back to take one out on him, I stepped in. I said, little man, I love you too much for you to take this punishment. I'm going to take it for you. There has to be a punishment for what you did, but I'm going to take what you deserve. Hit me as hard as you can, big guy. And he reared back, let me have it. Good hit, my And I said, this is exactly what Jesus did for us. He stepped in. The punishment was due us. It was not going to go anywhere. There had to be justice for what is perpetrated, our sins that we commit. But he loves us so much that he couldn't let us take it by ourselves. He had to come in and take it forward, just like Daddy did for you, young man. And I explained the gospel to him right there in the darkened driveway. Because this gospel is real. And I took what was due them just like Jesus took what was due us. Every father should do this for their sons and bring it to pass what is true about this gospel that he hung on our behalf because he loves us so much. Share this with another in Jesus' name.